hello everyone and today we are going to see about what is an rpa and in that rpa we are going to see about blue prism tool which is one kind of uh, blooming tool uh, current market also the uh, one kind of uh, secure tool in rpa Let me talk about myself. I'm working as a senior software engineer in one of the leading MNC company. Also, I'm work with currently I'm working in Blue Prism. Also, having experience with uh, Cofax Capo and UI Path. These two, three two, uh, tool also uh, kind of RP tools. Uh, when it comes to my experience, nearly five years of experience in relevant to RP only. In that. Uh, uh, having experienced two leading tools one is blue prism and another one is ui part so i'm sure uh, i can be able to make your more knowledge on uh, rpas uh, let me talk about what is rpa and what kind of tool is available and what is the future of rpa and benefits what kind of benefits uh, to use blue prism let me talk about uh, RPA introduction. Uh, RPA is a nothing but to mimic you human activities. So let's say if you are going to uh, fill any applications for yourself in itself, that will take out two to three minutes. When it comes to more than uh, 100 people or 1000 people, it should be take some more time, right? So by using a robot the, for uh, the process automation, uh, you can make automatic. The first thing you have to instruct the uh, RPA bot to do for the single person. So by the way, remaining 99, uh, uh, 99 persons, the bot will do the all the activities in repeated mode. So likewise, we have to create an automation. This is a simple examination of uh, RPA. And I, I can give another, let's say, uh, if you want to uh, book any uh, bus means you have to uh, launch into the red bus site in your uh, browser then you have to give your uh, inputs kind of like which date you have your goal start the journey and which uh, you know, destination you have to reach and your uh, origin and everything you have to enter in the site right so these are the kind of inputs so once you enter it you will get some results search results so based on the results you have to choose one of the best uh, uh, bus with the high facilities so then you have you can you will uh, book a ticket and you will uh, start the journey and all right so when you book yourself that is simple thing it will take only three minutes when it comes to multiple users you have it will take more time right so by the way you are you have to instruct the blue prism or any kind of rpa tool like you have to launch the site and you have to enter the inputs and everything and you have to search and by the, uh, by giving a, uh, some options like these are the options you should focus like rate, rating wise you, you should focus on the 5 ratings or 4.5 ratings and uh, sleepers by bus only you can put some filters on that also based on the inputs so likewise you, you, you can create a uh, you should create a, a automation flow by using that flow for the all the applicants robot will do the booking tickets this is a simple explanation of rpa so what is rpa means simply we can say whatever things manually we are doing that that is that is the all the thing bot will do in automatic way basic basically uh, what the instruction we have given to the bot by using that instruction that will run that will have run or book something okay and RP tool explanation. Uh, tool explanation. This let me explain in the uh, uh, blue prism. So in the blue prism, we have uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, like uh, modules and all. So in you know, when when you launch into the blue prism, that will be a home page and studio tab and release analytics. Also uh, having a tab like system. These kind of the major. Uh, uh, tabs will be there Addish, adding to that that separate tab and uh, another tab is also available which is control room that is a main thing in blue prism so when it comes to the other tool like ui path or automation anywhere it comes to the capo so all the tools having a separate url like a separate cloud platform why 
why means uh, like um, you you are creating a bots right so once you create a bot you have to run in some separate time uh, based on the client time everything right so for that we have a separate cloud platform to schedule a bot and running a bot and monitoring the bots so for these purpose we have a separate cloud platform when it comes to the blue prism that is inside the blue prism itself it's kind of separate tab which is control room so when it comes to the uh, blue prism uh, nowadays like uh, nearly the upcoming months we also having a, a cloud platform uh, like other tools like uva path and automation anywhere uh, i think uh, that will be up, uh, upgrade in the 6.7 version in october or november soon we will get the cloud platform in blue prism also but for now we are using only control room uh, this is the uh, blue prism explanation and in comes to the uh, ui path and automation anywhere uh, that that also having a lots of explain uh, i mean uh, lots of uh, detail in uh, like uh, in blue prism you have a tool and control room uh, in the tool itself so if you want to monitoring and scheduling any anything means you have to allocate separate machine for that to uh, do the monitoring and scheduling and everything right so when it comes to the ui path and another tools that will be separate cloud uh, cloud platform right as i said earlier so that will be help us to uh, scheduling or do the scheduling and monitors and everything okay these are the major difference in uh, uh, blue prism versus another tools and or the future and let me talk about our pa future uh, first thing is nowadays we are going we are already automating yeah, like um, simple web based automations and simple kind of application filling automations this kind of sim simple simple works let's say i'm the business uh, in um, i'm having a team with uh, 10 members uh, they are doing some excel operations like uh, from the excel they will give uh, they will have uh, some hard uh, in set of uh, details based on that details uh, they will uh, do some updates in the database these are the things the 10 people are doing so i am planning to automate this process instead of doing a manual i'm i am planning to do the by using of uh, rpa bots it can give it can be any any tool not only blue prism it can be any tool so that time i'll discuss with some other people like uh, 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 which tool is better than uh, better for this process and likewise we will discuss and finally we get a solution on that and we will do some uh, automation for that particular process this is the simple uh, automation flow so uh, let's see all the process is automated earlier means what is the thing we have in the future to automate nothing right so for that part we have like a pdf scanned image this kind of uh, uh, part also available this is kind of for next level of what p so for to achieve that task us uh, we have to use ocr machine learning this kind of things additional things also available in uh, all the rp tools by using these things we have to step into the next level of what p that is currently running so based on that we can uh, uh, learn more more i mean we can automate pdfs and everything by using ocs and all uh, some kind of third party tools is also available like abe this i for these are the third party tool to uh, interact the uh, pdfs and image these kind of uh, uh, documents we can automate by using that three uh, third party tools uh, this is the rpa future so we are uh, stepping to the next level like artificial intelligence and kind of okay let me uh, talk about course outline so when it comes to the uh, blue prism tool uh, initially will already have just uh, given a small intro of uh, introduction of rpa we'll talk about in the uh, in the session we'll talk about in depth in rpa like what is rpa what is the cycle of rpa what are the stages is available for that particular rpa everything will be discussed in the class and installation of blue prism tool so how to install and the which edition would be best for learning and everything and how to install this tool and how to do the all the things everything we can discuss in the Uh, we will discuss in the future and modules of blue prism nothing but we have uh, lots of uh, tabs in the tab like uh, big and like process studio uh, studios uh, control room 
uh, system tab all the tabs have some kind of uh, different different um, settings and options and all so uh, we can uh, we will discuss about what are the options is available what are the options uh, uh, doing uh, what kind of works and how to use that options and everything we can uh, we will see in the upcoming uh, sessions and this is the major part in blue prism work queues process studio object studio and control room and for last one is system tab uh, that will be a uh, like uh, you will not give it, uh, from that you will use some few options not the, all the options you will use uh, some few options when it comes to work you process studio object studio and control these are the major parts you have to learn more system tab is nothing but it's simply uh, you have to uh, use few options like uh, environment variable credential manager how to how to use that if you are going to use any apis and all rest api and all means you can use uh, that apis also okay these are the things and most uh, best thing is when you automate you have to use uh, before starting a development or before starting a uh, website analysis you have to do some cost benefit analysis like let's say if you are going to do some activities means uh, because because of the humans you have to for i mean not you business will do that but that part also you have to know what kind of this let's say if 10 people are going to do the uh, already go doing uh, some manual works you are going to do the automation by using a bot okay so in that case you are you have to replace a bot instead of that 10 members you have to uh, implement one or two bots to achieve that all 10 members task right that is a cost of uh, best cost uh, like uh, instead of giving a 10 members um, salary we are going to pro uh, give our two robots and that particular by using that two robots we are achieving that 10 members task that is a good automation so when it comes to the uh, 10 members uh, like instead of 10 members if you are using a 10 robots that is no nothing right both are same only so you have to focus that or that part also that is a different thing and requirement gathering so this part also uh, one kind of uh, separate team will be doing uh, before giving that documents to you all but uh, even though you are the developer you have to do all the analyzing and you have to do all the uh, steps creations and how to do that and you, you are the person only interact with the tool like application which application you are going to automate you are the person you, you have to interact with it right because uh, already one some some kind of uh, humans already working with that particular application then you will know about that tool how the tool is reacting and how is some kind of purpose when it the purpose is coming and how it is working when the time is down but that particular application and like of uh, the positives and negatives all all the things that human will know but when it comes to you you are not aware of that particular tool right the first thing is you have to analyzing the tool application and not a tool in the sense not in the application windows based application and you're talking about the web based application also this is also kind of application right so you have to analyze the application end to end how it is performing and how it is working so you have to in, uh, interact the application like you are a manual worker likewise you have to do all the verification and analyzing everything so based on that only the business also can miss some something in the requirement right we can uh, by basing by using our knowledge analyzing we can add that requirements also in that uh, uh, in that uh, requirement flow uh, let's say let's say simple example so let's say business saying like uh, you have to uh, download a zip document from one particular um, site and you have to extract all the things from that um, all the images from that zip folder so when you interact with the zip folder there is a two different scenario one is they are zipping all the images uh, and another one is they are all putting all the images into one folder then uh, zipping that folder into zip folder okay there is a two different scenario right when it comes to the bot they will they will not knowing like uh, this is a, a zip uh, images contain a zip folder this is folder contains zip folder likewise they, they will not uh, uh, 
understand and all right because you are not teaching like that so you have to analyze and you have to tell the business like there are two different scenario i found like one is uh, having the image contains zip folder another one is zip contain folder folder contains zip folders likewise you have to explain the business in have to, then you have to write the requirement that also you can you have to include that also so likewise each and every simple thing also you have to notify and you have you are the person should gather the all the requirement and to them this is the main thing so once you all the requirement things you can see easily uh, develop a design for your requirement and how to do that a solution design is nothing like previously we talk about the book tickets in the um, red bus right so what are the things you have to do initially you have to launch the site and you have to enter the origin destination and which date you are going to uh, travel and everything right so that scenario uh, these are the inputs the, these are the way you have to do the automation so likewise you have to instruct the blue prism like first you, have, you are going you, you should log in i mean launch and you then you have to uh, do some inputs like uh, origin details uh, the resignation this um, destination uh, details and the particular date details everything you should enter right so these are the uh, flow so what are the things you are doing in the manual the same way you have to do in the Uh, automatic way in by using a blue prism also the additional thing is you have to do what what you have to do is exception case like uh, in the case if the browser is not working means what will happen if the that input box is uh, not appears means what will happen so likewise also you, you should focus you should have to you, you have to think about that negative scenarios also then only your automation part will get smooth workflow and without any issues it will do something okay now let's say if you have any issues bot will throw like exception these are the things um, having issues and everything okay and uh, we are like um, when comes to the rpa there is a different environment is available like development testing and prod vm uh, like uh, see uh, once you uh, schedule the process like you are done with the development and you are pushing to the environment prod environment prod environment in the, in the sense instead of that 10 members but will do uh, going to do all the task without any interruption 24 by 7 okay these are the uh, things we really do in the prod environment without any interruption if you are have to run within 2 hours means you can also make uh, the timings or uh, like uh, every banner street should be run from 10 am to 12 pm like which you can make uh, schedules also like which you can uh, in uh, in schedule in control tab uh, control room you can uh, make it uh, schedules and all okay this that will be working in the problem so when it comes to the production or uh, development and testing these are the environment you are going to do the activities and all like if you want to develop anything you, you should use a development environment and more, more or less testing also same all the uh, mncs some kind of mnc only only having a separate environment like they, they, they would, there would be a separate and testing would be a separate okay so uh, we have to uh, if in case the both are different different uh, environment let's say you are already you are complete with the development you have to push into the prod means you have to take a release package like all the uh, your code and uh, what are the things you have used on that particular code you have to take a package and upload into the prod vm that you can uh, import it and you can um, use that code and run the run process and everything okay and testing environment methodology methodology like it's not uh, it's not nothing but uh, already are talking about like uh, exception handling this is the thing so before starting a development you should focus on what are the negative things by using you already knew about what are the negative things if may happen in the future right so by using that uh, negative scenarios you have to do some testing before pushing to the production let's say uh, you can in the application if you only allowing a uh, 10 digit numbers means just try to give nine digit number definitely it will throw some error right just likewise you have to check all the possible uh, exceptions in testing itself so you have to use multiple concepts and multiple uh, 
samples and multiple scenarios based you have to test in testing environment itself then only you can make your process without any issues okay and sex structural uh, explanation of blue prism and management concept okay so it's nothing but already explained about each and every modules that is we will uh, uh, talk will uh, look into uh, in depth what are the options is available what are the options we are frequently using and uh, most usable uh, things like environment variable and control uh, like uh, credential manager and how to use session variables and what are the data types is available what is kind of uh, uh, startup parameters and end up parameters we can talk we will discuss everything in blue prism what are the things not only in the separate session we will talk about in each and every day by using any task we can discuss about other thing also when it comes to the that particular task so likewise we can um, include everything so scheduling and monitoring it's like um, how to schedule a process let's say previously i told like um uh, have to run a process on every Wednesday between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 a.m. right so likewise you have to create a schedule right? like you have to instruct the blue prism on every Wednesday you should pick this particular process and you should run this particular time so you can make create own your uh, scheduler based on that that will be uh, run so all the above things will be a end to end process too okay uh -huh. starting with that uh, like you have to uh, get the uh, requirement analyzing and you have to create a solution design and you have to create an end-to-end -end flow and you have once your development is completed you have to do some testings so once you completed the testings you will push into the life like you have to schedule a process and you will running and you then you will monitoring how it is running it's terminated or everything right so once it is all done you can get the end-to-end -end, uh, live experience with blue prism you will in the meantime we will give some task also so by your completing that task is you can get more live experience with blue prism okay yeah uh, uh, adding to that here we can uh, talk about about what are the different spy mode is available and the, the surface automation one kind of uh, major uh, it's like um, a different part in uh, blue prism uh, that is uh, let's say here in blue prism we can automate like um, web based and windows based and has java mode and with lots of automation is available likewise surface automation is one kind of automation which is interact with uh, most probably pdf and all so that will be will be explained in the separate session and we, we people get more knowledge on surface automation how to do that so that will be helpful uh, when you use uh, chrome automation or edge automation because uh, ie will be soon uh, will be um, end up and instead of uh, ie we should use edge right so that case you will uh, it, the, the surface automation will be helpful and process studio object studio comes under the uh, studio steps so in that studio uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how to create objects and how to use that objects in process likewise we'll see in, in depth uh, these are the uh, details so by using a blue prism portal you can get the uh, foundation training which is provided by the blue prism uh, organization okay by using this you are you can get the foundation training but just go and enroll that training you will get uh, uh, the basic level knowledge of blue prism and how to do that and all that will be helpful really so these are the projects we are going to provide and adding to that uh, two, two more projects are also available so based on performance and based on how you interact with the blue prism will give more high complexity of pro projects so by using a comparison of these projects you will get more other uh, tasks as well like interview tasks which is uh, going on uh, in the trending uh, interviews so based on that you will get more knowledge about how to crack the interviews also more getting more knowledge in blue prism projects as well so by completing these two projects you will get some live experience with blue prism you should make your lab setups 
and by using uh, just make sure these things should be there also uh, by using that portal you can able to download that tools uh, blue prism tool and you can install it uh, and in that portal itself you have an installation video that will be helpful uh, uh, that will be helpful you to uh, do the, the installation how to create account with blue prism portal and everything yeah and finally we'll, we will conduct some mock interviews with trending interview talk questions because uh, nowadays uh, the market is booming with rpa especially with blue prism so for the, by, by using a few uh, trending interview questions it's, it, it will uh, you people will make uh, some knowledge on blue prism that will help you to clear uh, interviews and yeah that will be helpful so once you complete the two end to end uh, course and completion you will be eligible for these two uh, certifications first one is uh, the normal rp developer and second one is solution design so both you will uh, get more knowledge uh, by using completion of this course definitely you will crack these two uh, certifications and this is this course completion certificate we will provide from the mind magics and if you want contact us please reach us and you can use this mail id and contact details you can reach us thank you